Today we'll be looking at how to properly complete the bulk upload Excel for inventory items and sale items. Using the Excel sheet for multiple items is more efficient both from a time and accuracy standpoint. Remember, the difference between an inventory item and a sale item is that an inventory item is something I purchase for my external suppliers, whereas a sale item is something that I make available to the brick and mortar stores. Downloading a new file is simple. First, we're going to click on the Inventory tab and then Inventory Items. Then from there, we're going to click on the white Import from Excel button. Finally, click the Download Sample File button. Now we're going to open the sample file in Excel and we'll go through all the columns together. The first column is Inventory Item Name. This is just the name of the inventory item. In this case, it's a bagel. Supplier name is the name of the supplier and needs to match exactly what is in Market Man. In this case, it's Best Buns Bakery. The product code is simply the product code. The price is that we the price that we pay for the item. In this case, it's ten dollars. A discount is only necessary if there's tax on an item. If there is no tax, please leave the column blank. Price by weight is if an item is priced by the pound or kilo or unit of measurement. A common example of this is ground beef. If the ground beef you order is priced by the pound, you will put yes in this column. Categories can be easily set up at a later time and are not mandatory for the upload process. However, they can be very helpful in keeping yourself organized when using Market Man. UOM is simply the unit of measurement that we order in. In this case, we order by the individual bagel, so we would put each. Unit quantity is the pack quantity. In this case, we order 10 bagels at a time. Number of items in pack is the number of packs per case. Storage areas can be used to help keep you better organized when using Market Man, very similarly to categories. Each inventory item can have two storage areas at a time, and again, this is not mandatory for upload right now, and they can be added at a later time. Min on hand is going to be my reorder point, or the min minimum amount of product I want to have on hand before I place an order. In the case of my bagels, the smallest unit I can possibly have is a single bagel. So my min on hand is going to refer to the minimum amount of bagels I want to have on hand before I place an order. In this case, it's five. My par is the opposite of my min on hand. It is the amount of bagels I want to have on hand after I've received inventory and consider myself to be in fully stock of the product. In this case, it's 10. The expense account column is for customers who are integrating their accounting software with Market Man. The process for integrating with an accounting software is by connecting the corresponding GL code or general ledger code into Market Man, either on a supplier or if need be, on an in individual inventory item level. This will allow us to easily transfer reconciled invoices straight into your accounting software. Sale name is the name of the sale item or the item that we make available to our stores. Most of the time it will be the same as the purchase inventory item name in the first column. If so, feel free to copy and paste. The rest of the columns ask us how we want to sell our inventory item to our stores. Sale UOM is a unit of measurement for your sale item. Sale UOM quantity is the pack size, sale items per case is the number of packs per case, and sale product code is the product code for your sale items. Remember, the mandatory columns we need to be filled out in order to upload are inventory item name, supplier name, price, unit of measurement, and unit quantity. Once you have all the information filled out, all we need to do is save the Excel to our computer and then we can upload. Now we will return to Market Man so that we can upload our file. From there, we're going to press Choose File, find our file on our computer, and press Open. From there, we just press Import from Excel. After uploading this, we can begin placing orders from external suppliers and fulfilling orders from our stores. This is everything that you need to know for bulk uploading for a central production kitchen. If you have any questions, please visit our website at marketman.com or email us at support at marketman.com.